This wonder could be a tourist trail, passing as it does. The British Museum. National Portrait Gallery. The National Gallery. Trafalgar Square. The House of Criminals. And my favourite art gallery, Tate Britain. On reaching Trafalgar Square, there appeared to be more than the usual police presence. Donning my journo hat, I asked two of Thatcher's bully boys patrolling the perimeter what was going on. To be fair, they were most polite, bidding me a pleasant day, after knocking me to the ground and liberating the cash from my wallet. The British police, best in the world. Apart from persecuting art gallery ponces, the police were there for a combined protest march from 97% and kill the bill. On my return journey to King's Cross, the march had just reached Parliament Square Garden, where no doubt the participants were kettled and indiscriminately beaten by the best police in the world. But being a lazy journo, I had a train to catch, so didn't remain to confirm these scurrilous accusations. Turning left off Wandsworth Road onto Matrimony Place reveals a steep, narrow, stepped alleyway, bisected by a pleasing metal handrail. Alleyways are cool. The top of Matrimony Place opens out onto the entrance of the 1815 built St Paul's Church Clapham. The church was extended in 1879 to designs by Arthur Blomfield. 1928 saw Blomfield's side galleries removed, and in 1970 the church was further reduced to its original size. Design-wise, the brick-built exterior is not instantly recognisable as a church. With a quick glance, one would maybe identify it as a warehouse. This is not a criticism, I'm enamoured by industrial structures. Internally, the airy, austere, clean lines are the things dreams are made of. The pastel blue paint adding serenity and a feeling of ease. I adored it, but I adore most churches. Hmm, I missed focus on this shot. This channel is a shambles. The 1891 painted wood panel altar in memory of Maria Parrott particularly pleased me. It's once no doubt vivid colours having faded and patinated to a warm, subtle appearance. Above all else though, the church has retained its pews. Pews are incredibly uncomfortable, but their beauty lies in their simple, stark design. A church without pews isn't a church. Like churches, London council flats are a huge favourite. They must feature London stock bricks, the generic term, whether yellow or brown, for London county council bricks though, and possess white balcony detailing. Strictly speaking, Macaulay Square's all-white balconies don't conform to my ideal block of flats, but they work. Augmenting the appeal is this period ground floor sign. As the name suggests, Clapham Common was common land, utilised for livestock grazing and firewood gathering etc. With it said, sheep were still grazing on the common in the 1920s. Despite being converted to parkland under the 1878 Metropolitan Commons Act, the common has maintained its informality, the large open areas of grass utilised for sport and for the less energetic, lazing around. According to Tarquin, bandstands are usually crawling with sugared up saucepan lids, ignored by their parents who phone in hand are desperately hoping their friends haven't posted they're having a better time than them on Facebook. Mercifully, the 1890 constructed Clapham bandstand, 
London's largest, was child-free while I was shooting. By the 1960s, the bandstand was falling out of use and mostly neglected. This neglect continued until 2003, when the Friends of Clapham Common Society, together with Lambeth Council, participated in a heritage lottery grant bid, resulting in a £900,000 award, which, with £300,000 from the council and £100,000 raised from the local community, allowed... A complete restoration, including zinc for the cupola from France. Cast iron balustrade from India. New base with wooden decking and the nearby cafe refurbished, including new toilets. Lunch was partaken overlooking the bandstand and was, as usual, a Sainsbury's £3 meal deal who still aren't sponsoring these wonders, despite the tremendous publicity my five friends watching the videos gives them. 